Hi, thank you for booking your VHF radio course with us here at Dorset Marine Training. Uh, we look forward to welcoming you on the course. This video really has just put together a little bit of information on the pre-course learning that you need to do, a bit of, bit of learning before you come and see us ideally. I'm Sarah, I'm one of the instructors and an assessor for the VHF radio course. Uh, we teach a lot of courses each year. We've, over the years we've got used to what works well for different people. If you can do a bit of pre-course learning, it's not only a requirement um, for the actual course, but also it'll make your day so much easier. It'll be a more relaxed day and we'll have much more time to spend using the actual radios and uh, making calls on them. So you don't need to know it all strictly before you come, but a bit of knowledge will make things a lot easier if you can. During the day, we've got the option of using both uh, fixed radios like these, and we've got handheld radios as well. So we have a choice of what's most suitable to you. And we will be do making as many calls as we possibly can. So let's have a look at that pre-course reading. There's three main things we want to have a look at. The first is our phonetic alphabet. The second is our channel numbers. And the third is our mayday call. So let's start with our phonetic alphabet. Phonetic alphabet is really important that we've um, learnt what the different letters are so that we can spell things out. Best way to learn it is by perhaps sitting in a car park and reading out car park registrations to yourself or maybe spelling uh, names. Um, it could be that you are um, spelling out your boat name or maybe your own name or your address, things like that. So let's just run through those letters, shall we? We've got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee and Zulu. Don't worry too much about the numbers at the moment, let's just concentrate on the letters, that's the most important thing. So hopefully you'll have a bit of time to wander around and start practicing those. And it's two easy marks in your assessments. There's a definite um, incentive there for you to sit down and learn them. Let's have a look at uh, number two, which is our channels. So in order to speak to different people on the radio, we're going to use different channel numbers to get hold of people. It might be that we want to speak to marinas. It might be we want to speak to the Coast Guard and they will always use, they'll all use different channel numbers. So let's run through those. We've got channel 16 is our main channel. It's our distress, safety and calling channel. It's where we find the Coast Guard. It's a channel we're going to use in an emergency. But we also use it for getting hold of people as well. Next one is channel 67, 67. That's the small craft safety channel. It's our working channel for the Coast Guard. So if we've got a routine matter we want to talk to the Coast Guard on, that's the channel we'll use for it. Channel 80, 80, is UK Marinas. So if we want to go in and get a berth for lunch, something like that, then we need to use channel 80. Channel 65, 65, is the National Coast Watch Institution, NCI. Really helpful people. Um, a bunch of volunteers who are able to do radio checks for us, for example, or give us weather information. Then we've got our working channels or intership channels. Those are the channels that we use to talk to other boats on. Um, that might be channel 6, 8, 72 or 77. So that's 06, 08, 72 or 77. Uh, next up, we've got three channels together. We've got channel 11, 12 and 14. And that's our port control channels. Might be port control, harbour control, VTS, vessel traffic services. It's the authorities that control the harbour that we're working in. And it could be any one of those three that they use. So 11, 12 and 14. So Pool Harbour, for example, is on channel 14. This one, a little bit of an unusual one here. We've got private channels. This is for UK yacht clubs that are organising racing. And they'll be on either M1, P1 or 37A. So a bit unusual, they've got a letter in the, uh, in the channel number there. Channel 1313 is bridge to bridge. That's big boats talking to big boats, so ships talking to ships. Um, unlikely most of our um, 
VHF students are going to be using that in the future, but it is one we need to know for the course. So channel 13 is bridge to bridge. Next up, we've got channel 70, 70. That's the DSC channel, digital selective calling. It's a channel that we use, that our radios use to send digital messages for. We don't make any voice calls on that channel. And then finally, we want to know channel 15 and 17. And that's what we use for onboard communications using low power. So if we've got a big boat and we want to talk to each other from one end of the boat to the other. Sometimes people ask me about the other channel numbers. There are other channel numbers used for other things, but these are the channels that we need to know about. So we will run through them during the day. We'll use them during the day. That'll help them sort of make more sense to you. But if you can have a basic familiarity with them, that'll make your day so much easier. And finally, our distress alert and voice mayday call. Hopefully we'll never need to make one of these, but it's really important if we do that we can get it correct and that we give the information in the correct order. So a mayday is identified as where there's grave and imminent danger to person, vessel, vehicle or aircraft, and we require immediate assistance. So our boat's sinking or we're on fire, that sort of scenario. And for the purposes of training in the classroom here, we've made up a vessel identity for ourselves. So our identity is made up of our vessel name, which is Caesar Day, our call sign, which is Romeo 3, Papa, Charlie, Golf, and our MMSI, which is 235-899-984. And all that information makes up our identity so we can identify who it is that's actually making the call. And we'll explain during the course where we get that information from our call sign and MMSI, but for now, we've made one up. So if we need to make one of these um, alerts and voice mayday calls, then it's like a three-step process. Step one is pushing and holding the red button on our radios, and we'll do that in a second to show you how. Step two is making a mayday call. So that would be mayday, mayday, mayday. This is my name, 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 call sign, and MMSI. And then step three, we use a mnemonic called MIP Danio. And what that is, is M is for mayday, I is for identity, so that's our name, call sign, and MMSI number. P is for position. D is for the nature of distress, so e.g. sinking. A is the require immediate assistance. N is the number of people that are on board. I is any other information. And O is over. So let's put that all together and actually demonstrate it. So step one is pushing and holding the red button on our radio. So we lift up the flap on here. Just move that across. And then we push and hold it. And that's now sent out a distress alert to both the Coast Guard and any other boats in our vicinity. The next thing we do is make our voice mayday call. So we say, mayday, mayday, mayday. This is seize the day, seize the day, seize the day. Romeo, three, Papa, Charlie, Golf, 235, 899, 984. Then mayday, seize the day. Romeo 3, Papa, Charlie, Golf, 235, 899, 984. I'm just off Pottery Pier in Pool Harbour. We have a man overboard. We require immediate assistance. There are two other people on board. The person overboard is wearing a life jacket and we're attempting to retrieve him. Over. So that's the three parts to your voice call. So hopefully, um, that's given you a bit of an insight into what we're going to be doing on the course. Any questions, just drop us a message and we'll be happy to help. And other than that, we look forward to meeting you on the course.